Hi all, welcome to this session. The objective of this session is to uh, see how to extend the material uh, to a new storage location. So for example, if a plant is having multiple storage locations and one material is created only for one storage location, but for some purpose you might have to say store or maybe you have to keep it in some other storage location as well. Then in that case, you need to extend the material uh, to a new storage location. So let's see how to do that. For that, I have taken one material. Uh, let's go to MM02. Okay, uh, I'm going to take this 100 hyphen 100. This is my material number, which I would be extending. Now this material is already extended to 1000 plant. So let me show you that um, say so purchasing MRP12. I have 4000 plant and these are the existing storage locations. If you see here, If you can see here, these are the thousand plant storage locations to which this material is extended currently. 0001, 0002, 0088 and BRAW. So now I would like to extend this to a new storage location. So let's see how many storage locations this particular plant has. So I'm going to use OX09 to C for my thousand plant. Now you can see here there are so many so this double triple zero one zero triple zero two then zero zero three zero four zero five so there are so many storage locations so this is the one also double zero double eight and then braw so only four storage locations this particular material is extended to so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to extend this to triple zero three also now so I'm going back and then I'm going uh, I'm checking whether it is existing for that or not for the first time so if I go say MRP 1 MRP 2 and then I just click 1000 and then I go for triple zero three and I want to see so you can see that this says that this is not existing in this storage location triple zero three of plant 1000 now to extend this particular material to the storage location the transaction code is MMSC so here we have got the material and you have to give the plant now if you see list all existing storage locations that means to it will give us all the list of the existing storage locations to which this particular material is extended to apart from that you can add on how much you want or oh, the second option is it will give you the list of extendable storage locations only if you select this so I'm selecting this and I'm pressing enter now so you can see here we have one two three and four four storage locations it is existing to so the expectation is that if I'm entering a new storage location here then this particular storage location should also be visible in MM02 when I'm making a change and it should be available for that particular storage locations. So I'm going to give 0003 the new storage locations and I'm going to press enter. Now you can see here it is grayed out. That means it has taken this and I'm going to just save it. So it says function carried out and now I'm just going to go to MM02 here I have 100 half in 100 so now I'm going into MRP 1 MRP 2 and then I'm just going to give my plant as 1000 and now in the storage location section I'm going to check if my 0003 is there so you can see here now for 1000 plant even 0003 is visible so if I would say choose it will automatically pick up the data and I just have to enter the data and then save it. So in this case, this particular material would be available for this storage location as well. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel uh, for upcoming latest videos. We would be keeping on adding so many videos on SAP basic videos at the same time, intermediate videos and SAP advanced videos along with many module videos. Thank you for watching.